Battling depression can be exhausting and lonely. Dealing with stigma and stereotypes can make it even harder. People who deal with this illness are often called lazy, boring, gloomy, unfriendly, and lots of other hurtful adjectives. Have you dealt with this before? If you've had depression for a while, you may have fallen into the belief that you're a bad person, but there's a lot of psychological research that has revealed results perhaps contrary to that belief. In today's video, we'd like to present some studies that show depression doesn't take away the good things about you. We want you to know that even in your darkest days, you are a valuable person. Number one, a helping hand. Experiencing depression can make you a great listener and a supportive friend because you've been dealing with the pain for so long, you've gotten familiar with it. So when somebody opens up to you, you'll be able to understand them. You know how hard life gets sometimes, which can make you more warm and empathetic when someone else is struggling. Research in psychology shows that people who struggle with depression may sometimes show greater empathy for others. A 2017 study published in the journal Frontiers in Psychology showed that the more depressed someone is, the more intensely they may react when seeing people in distress. The authors believe that seeing other people's pain can make them feel pain as well. This empathy can sometimes push you into helping others or volunteering. And if you decide to invest your time into volunteer work, you might feel a lot better. A 2013 study published in the Journal of Economic Psychology suggests that volunteers with low levels of happiness may feel happier after helping others. So it may just be a win-win situation. Do people often come to you for advice? And do you feel closer to those who also struggle? Understanding their struggles might connect you on a deeper level. Number two, no rose-colored glasses. Do you consider yourself a pessimist? Or maybe you think you're just being realistic. Psychologists Lauren Alloy and Lynn Yvonne Abramson came up with an interesting hypothesis called depression realism. They think that a depressive mood can make your thoughts about the world and yourself more accurate and realistic. It could be due to the idea that you aren't looking at life through rose-colored glasses, so you're more likely to see both the positive and negative sides of a situation. The theory of depression realism is still being researched but some newer studies show that depressed individuals do have more realistic views. For example, a 2011 study published in the Journal of Abnormal Psychology showed that depressed people tend to make better, more rational choices. Another study published in the journal Psychological Science suggests that depression makes you focus on the details of a situation, improving your analytical thinking skills. Do you think it's possible that these results happen because of depression realism? Number three judges of character. Struggling with a depressive mood may also help you read people's intentions better. An interesting 2008 experiment published in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology showed that depression can make you a greater judge of character. Happy and sad participants were shown a videotape in which a person accused of theft was being interrogated. They had to decide if the person was guilty or innocent. The results showed that those in a sad mood detected deception much better than happy participants. They were also better at recognizing fake facial expressions when the thief tried to lie their way out. The authors of the study believe that this happens because sad people hold negative experiences in their memory, so it's easier for them to access them when they need to make a social judgment. You may not be invited to participate in a jury, but judging others' intentions is still important in everyday life. You might be able to avoid manipulative people fake friends or liars. Would you say you're able to recognize when someone is lying to you? Also, are you more careful when starting an interaction with strangers? And number four, creative spirit. Do you sometimes turn to art when you're depressed? Feeling such deep emotions, even if it's sadness, can unleash your creative spirit. That's when pieces of touching and beautiful art can be born out of depression, writing poetry, singing or drawing may help you deal with your emotions. That's probably why so many great artists suffered from depression as well. A 2010 study published in the Journal of Affective Disorders analyzed the writings of the German writer and poet, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. The authors of the study concluded that if Goethe visited a therapist in today's society, the elements of his writing wouldn't be considered just a poet's melancholy. They said the way he wrote would in modern terms, match a lighter constitutional bipolar mood disorder. 
and that his dysthymic moods, which were described frequently throughout his life, were strong motives to work creatively. What do you think? Have you noticed depressed people to be highly creative? Do you think they see the world differently than others? We'd like to spark a discussion, so let us know your thoughts in the comments. In the end, we need to answer a few questions. Does this mean you have to suffer from depression to have these qualities? Will you somehow change after you recover? Not at all. What makes us good or bad isn't determined by our mental condition, and it's not depression in itself that automatically makes you either good or bad. The choices you make and the skills you develop to cope are what counts. And once you recover completely, you'll see that you're still the same person, only much happier. You'll know that depression never impacted your worth.